Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Rapunzel and uh, similarly to the Snow White that we just did this is a Rapunzel that will stand up by herself but she's also a dress-up doll and so her skirt and her little body are two completely separate items that we will be making. We'll be making the doll on the rainbow loom and we can do her skirt on either the monster loom or on the rainbow loom and I'll show you how to do both. Okay, so we're going to get started and we're going to be using um, clear, I'm sorry, not clear bands. <laughs> Our rainbow loom is going to be in an offset position to do the doll. So columns one and three will be slightly lower than column two and the arrow is going to be facing toward you. If you don't have an arrow on your particular loom, it's the open part of the peg that faces towards you. Um, we are going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them across the pegs as if they were one. Okay, let's get started with her hair. As I said, double banding. Oops, I'll throw them all over the place. That's half the course for me, really, isn't it? You're used to that with my tutorials now. So, put some hair. I'm going to move to skin tone colour. Now you're going to need a variety of different purples or pinks or whatever you choose. I'm choosing two different purples. I'm choosing um, a regular purple. I'm not quite sure which brand. I don't think it's um, Rainbow Loom. But then the Rainbow Loom one that I'm choosing for her dress is the Royal Purple, which is the uh, special edition, which I thought might look quite nice. I'm going to put a single band as a crossover band here on her face and then for her eyes what I'm going to do is take a single band and twist it three times and I'm going to place that between these two pegs here and that's going to stop her eyes falling to the back of the loom. Her eyes I'm going to use mini pony beads and I'm just using black ones and that's, that's all I've got at the moment um, but you can use white ones and draw pupils on with uh, sharpies, you can use the little e-beads, you can use bands whatever you like and whatever your choice of uh, threading as well, some use floss, I prefer my little metal threader, um, I have a video tutorial on how you can make one of those from a twisty tie. When you've placed your eye band on, split the band in half as you can see and I'm going to put that top bit over so it sort of acts as a crossover band okay like that. I'm going to use three bands for her neck and I'm going to use two again for her shoulders and for her throat, like that. And then I'm going to change to the purple and I'm just using a standard purple for the bodice. And I'm going to go down three, like that, on either side. And down the middle and again I'm, I'm still um, double banding and actually I'm going to come down four here otherwise she's going to end up with legs up to her armpits so like that I'm going to put a couple of little white bands so two 
each side to here and again I'm dropping the bands to this side as well and that's just going to give the um, bodice a little bit of definition I'm going to now do skin tone for her legs okay as I said this is a dress up doll so she's just going to be wearing her top and um, it's kind of like a bodysuit really isn't it and then you have the ability to change different skirts onto her so you could put a tutu on her or you can have the full length skirt or whatever you choose I have to do a range of different skirts <laughs> So, we've got all of these. I'm going to put um, a single flesh tone band across here, like that. And I'm going to take this part of the band up and over that particular peg. Okay. Now, I'm going to do crossover bands here. Take a single band, figure eight, loop it on itself and we'll put those over like this and the same for the next one loop it on itself and that makes her waist a little bit tighter this one we're just going to place we don't need to actually loop it on itself we're going to do some feet and I'm going to do feet in the same colour as the bodice so I'm going to take two purple bands place my hook through wrap it once and twice and get a new, another two purple bands and move those over and reclaim. I'm going to do that another time with two purple bands but instead of getting two purple bands to slide them onto I'm going to get two skin tone bands and I'm going to slide them on. I'm then going to take the first one that we made and take the two bands closest to the end of my hook up over and off onto those skin tone bands and then I'm going to swap places with the skin tone bands like that and move them up over and off. I'll recapture the skin tone bands onto my hook. So we've angled the little foot and we're going to put that on the end of her leg here. Let's make another one. So two purple bands, wrap it once and twice, and we'll slide on to two purple bands. Reclaim the end of your bands. Another two, slide it once, oops, not slide it, wrap it once and twice, and this time we're sliding it onto two flesh tone. Like so spread them out so they're nice and even. Now we're going to move the first two bands of this one up over and off onto the flesh tone and then take the flesh tone off your hook and swap sides so that you're dealing with the other side and move those bands up off and onto the flesh tone. So all the bands, all the purple bands should be on the flesh tone and then reclaim the end of your bands onto your hook and you can angle this either way that way is for, for right, this way is for left okay so we're doing the left foot this time and we will pop that on here now she obviously needs some arms let's do that take a single band flesh tone wrap it once, twice and three times and we're going to slide that onto a pair of flesh tone bands and then another pair and one more pair of flesh tone and then I'm going to do the royal purple which is what we're going to make the skirt out of so a pair of the royal purple And then what I'd like to do is two royal purple with a white 
in the middle and slide that on like that and that is going to go up here on her shoulder it's a bit tight but that's okay let's do one for the other side so a single band one two three slide it onto a double band of flesh tone another double band of flesh tone and one more double band of flesh tone then we're going to do two of the different tone purple and you can pick whichever I've just done it the two different types of purple but if you want to do all the same purple or a pink and a purple whatever you like for your Rapunzel so then I'm doing purple white purple slide those on and make sure that that is in the same order on this side and then I'm going to pop that on the other shoulder like that there we go now so we've done legs shoes crossovers arms crossovers for the face eyes I'd say we need to work on her hair so I'm going to take a single blonde coloured band and wrap my hook round twice and then take another two and reclaim the end. I'm going to do that again. Two and reclaim the end. Now this little short one is going to go on this side of her head. Okay, and I'm going to put it from the same one that her eyes are on, the same peg her eyes are on, and I'm going to put my hook down through the end cap, stretch the end cap out, and put it here where her jaw is. The next side is going to be where her long braid is. So take a single band, wrap it around your hook once and twice, and then we're just going to do pairs of the hair until it's the right desired length. So a pair, slide your bands on and reclaim. Let's take another pair. Slide your bands on and reclaim. And we're just going to keep doing that until it's the right length for us. A pair. And slide on. Probably just do a couple more. After all, she is Rapunzel. And I have the world's biggest critic, a six year old. <laughs> There's everything there is to know about Rapunzel. Alright, so I'm going to say that that is long enough because uh, it's getting a bit time consuming. So, we're going to twist our loom around. This end is going to go opposite her eyes, just here. 
Now you're going to move down one and two. Stick your hook through here and that's going to touch where her jaw is. All right. So I think we're actually ready to start looming up. So starting down here at her feet, pull her foot back, grab the two bands and we'll loom up. Pull the crossover band back with the back of your hook, okay, so that it keeps out the way. And when you get up here, we're going to loom these ones to the shoulders. And then we're going to loom these white ones across to the arms. So this side here, and then the other side. Like that. And now we're going to dig down and find the two flesh tone bands and loom them up to the throat on either side. Now let's loom the chest into the throat and then dig down and find the three bands for the neck. Loom that up. Now here at the chin we're going to go for the two top bands and loom them to the corresponding side. Then the next two top corresponding side. Now we need to deal with our hair. We're going to take the hair off this peg with the eye, make sure you leave the eye in, in its place, move the hair to one side, dig your hook down and find the two skin tone bands and loom them up. You're going to reclaim the bands for the hair and put them back on that peg and then dig down past the eye band and find the two hair bands and loom up. That is now locked into place. Let's do the same this side. We're going to take the hair off the loom and hold it out to one side. You're going to dig down and find the two bands skin tone and loom up. Reclaim your hair and we'll add it back onto that peg there. Dig down and find the two bands for the hair the very bottom and loom up. Let's loom our chin up and our nose and the bangs. Now I don't say bangs, I say fringe. So the fringe <laughs> and then either side. And then we're going to get two of the hair colored bands, poke our hook through and out the side and pop the bands on the hook. Now I like to twist my hook so that the smooth side of the hook goes against these bands and doesn't snag them. Up through the middle, move the bands to the back side of the peg, reclaim your bands and the two that are closest to you take them up, over and off and pull. Not too tight, not tight enough to break the bands but tight enough that uh, they're secure. Now we're going to take this off the loom. I like to use a metal hook to help me because I don't like broken bands so I'm just easing this off the loom her gently off because there's no huge amount of bands on that. So there we have it. She looks like she's uh, ready for gym class in her little bodysuit or leotard or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and her head's a bit lopsided because this is quite heavy. <laughs> so there's her hair. Stretch her out a bit. I'm going to tuck these bands behind 
her head here behind some of the other bands so that they're not as obtrusive so just tucking them behind like that they are behind us you know they're in a slip knot so I'm not scared that they're going to come apart or anything but I just don't want them sticking out as much as they do so I'm going to hide them behind there if you personally like to use a clip to secure them feel free to do that too so there's my little princess now we have to make her skirt so I'm going to just pop her to one side and we'll talk about her skirt with her skirt you can make it on a loom or you can make it on your monster tail and um, if you are doing it on the loom what you need to do is take your loom apart so you're going to need your rainbow loom um, hook because on the back of it is a base removal tool so you're going to remove the big base now what I tend to do is move the middle row and then I'm using the row columns then I'm using these two but to make it easier I take one off and I face it the other way so that I'm sort of going in a clockwise, you know, clockwise uh, direction. You can either do it um, this far apart, or you can do it this far apart. But it is—it's tight and squeezy to get it through that small of a distance. So even though it does stretch the bands that far, that's how I would do it on on my uh, loom. If you were choosing to do it that way, if you're going to use the monster tail. Um, and this is probably the only thing I've used the monster tail for other than uh, fiddling around trying to make bracelets um, which I'm not very good at actually <laughs> um, you're going to need two colours um, I like to put white at the base just so that um, it looks a little different so what you're going to do is take a single band put it over and do like an infinity loop it's a figure eight okay and then again on the next one figure eight so it's on top of it can you see like that put it on and figure eight put it on and figure eight put it on and figure eight figure eight Figure eight, and I need one more. Figure eight. So the only row that you need a figure eight on is that first one. Then you're just going to take your purple, pink, whatever colour you've chosen, and this is what we're going to do for all of the different dresses that we do for these little um, princesses. You start to layer your bands like this so that's the second layer we're now going to do a third layer and you always find you're, you're going to have three on here at the same time because as you loom up one as you you know loom up one you replace it with another one And I have to say, this is not my most favourite um, type of loom, but it does have its place. So, we've got three layers. We've got one layer of white and two layers of purple, which means we have two, four, six on each. It looks like we've got six bands on each one. So what we're going to do is take a hook, and I quite like the rainbow loom one because it's got quite a deep hook for this. You're going to dig down and you're going to take the two white bands and you're going to lift them up and off like that all the way around the two white ones lift up and off now we need to do about 16 of these layers and this is we've just done three here okay so we need to keep count this is th three so take these ones off 
when you've come back to the starting point we need to push this all down and you're going to need to keep pushing it down the other thing I've noticed with mine and I don't know if it's just mine is the lip on the on the uh, peg is very shallow so it's quite easy for the bands to fall off so we're going to replace the row that we just the layer that we just loomed up with another layer this is number four as I said we need 16 so a quarter of the way there <laughs> and then you're going to dig down and take the bottom two purple please make sure it's only the bottom two okay and I try and do it quite slowly and quite gently because I'm not very proficient with this little loom and I'm terrified that I'm going to lose the uh, the bands that they're going to flip off. Sorry about hitting the camera there. I'm trying to do it so you can see it but in doing so I'm holding it too close. <laughs> okay, so that's Four. Now we put another layer on and this will be five. I'll do this layer with you and then we'll pause the video and you can come back to me when we've both done 16. So, bottom two, lift up and off. Bottom two, lift up and off. Bottom two, up and off. Bottom two, up and off. Sorry. and push this down okay so that was number five I'm going to carry on and pause the video and I'll catch you when we're both at 16 okay so I'm back and hopefully you are too I've done my last row so what we're going to do now is take we should have four on each peg we're going to take two the bottom two and lift them over so that we're left with just two on each peg. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is take a different hook and I'm going to collect all of these bands on my hook. Okay, sorry for all the sniffs and coughs and splutters in the background, the little one is not well. So, collect all of these onto your hook. And pull through like that. Now, I'm actually using um, clear, two clear bands, the, the jelly bands, and I find them quite good. I'm going to tie two of them together like that, okay? And then what I'm going to do is thread all of these for the skirt onto the two jelly bands. And the reason I like the jelly band is it's very stretchy, and we need that, and we don't want something that's going to break really easily. And also, it's a nondescript colour, so it's not going to interfere with the purple. So pull that through, and then I'm going to put both ends on my hook. Take the one closest, up, over, and off. Oh, I'll drop them, whichever you like. <laughs> up, over, and off, like that. And I'm going to tie it in sort of a bit of a knot here, a bit of a slip knot, um, whichever way you can. Um, as you know I'm the world's worst knotter like 
but I don't want it too tight. There we go, take that off. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera. So I've tied that in a little knot there. Okay, now this is the skirt and it's quite tight and the way that we're going to get our little figures in and out is by using a spoon. So you can slide your bands onto the spoon and I haven't used these bands before, I've used different ones. Gently does it till you're about halfway down here and what you're going to do is lay your little figure in the spoon so poke her legs in and lay her like it's a little bed in the spoon like that okay and then as you pull the spoon back I'm trying to tuck her legs in further there we go there we go as we pull the spoon back and slide the dress up like that her legs will come out the bottom and you can grab them like that and wiggle the skirt up to the desired height on her waist which is probably about where I have it. Now with this little loop all I'm going to do is stick my hook up the back grab the loop and pull it down inside the skirt that's not really going anywhere. The way to allow her to stand up is to just push her feet back inside her dress. So just make it so that they're in her dress like that so she can stand up. Okay, she stands up like that. Now I want to put some flowers in her hair and the way I'm going to do that I've got four little green bands and one different colour of other bands. I'm going to pick a spot on her braid and put my hook through it like that. I'm going to take a green band and slide that through like that. Taking a coloured band I'm going to wrap it four times so that'll be when you put it through that's one, two, three, four. And I'm going to hold one end of the green band and slide this onto the other and then I'm going to tie the green band into a knot again with the knots <laughs> ah! I need itty bitty fingers like my daughter Stay on. There we go. So there's our first one. And let's do another one. We'll do one down here. I'm going to wrap once, twice, three, and four. And slide it on to my green band and tie a knot. Oh my gosh, did I do that one the first time? I did! Whew, that was pretty amazing. Let's put another one here. Slide my green band. And wrap it. One, two, three, four. And slide that on and tie my knot. And my lucky last I will put here. One, two, three. <coughs> oh, let's try 
try that again. I was too busy looking at the, the little one. He's busy coughing, spluttering. There we go. So there's four little flowers in her hair. Oh, that was silly. <laughs> so he's just stretching her out. Pull her dress up. <laughs> so there she is. And you can put a mouth on her if you want to. I think you all know how I do mouths and whatnot. Izzy has told me she likes them without the mouth at the minute. Again, if you want to stand her up, push her feet into her dress. Like that. And she stands up. So there we have Rapunzel. I hope you enjoy making her. Take care.